from the Ephra location and um, hey it's Christmas so Christmas means lots of family and friends and celebrating Jesus apparently there's football on Christmas this year um, but for me it was another year of trying to figure out what the word Noel meant um, so I just didn't have middle-aged French in my background vocabulary so I had to do some work to figure out what that meant and um, it really can be one of three things it can either mean birth joy or news it's almost like you can't believe it. it's like there's something about a birth, there's something about joy, and there's something about news all wrapped into Christmas. And that's why I love what Luke 2 verse 10 says. The angel says, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah. And so today, I pray that the birth of Jesus will cause a new birth in you as you trust in him in a brand new way. And I pray uh, that the joy that was ultimately set before Jesus on the cross will be the source of all the joy for you, carrying you through all of life's ups and downs. And I pray that the news about Jesus' death and resurrection will, will always be good and will permeate every area of your life and give you a brand new sense of purpose and mission as you show others what God is like. I pray that for you for this Christmas. So let's pray. Jesus, thanks so much. God, for this, this shout of joy, this shout of Noel that, that really can change everything for us. God, I pray um, from this moment of announcement in Luke 2 all the way to today um, that there can be uh, roots that we form so ultimately we can see the fruit of our life that is based and founded on you. God, help us have an incredible Christmas with this in mind and look forward to seeing all the fruit that comes from it. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Hey, Merry Christmas.